Want to know how to get Marilyn Monroe's look? In this video, I'm going to show you where to purchase her signature style right now. Marilyn Monroe is one of the most iconic actresses of all time and her style is still popular today. So whether you're getting ready for a special event or just want to update your wardrobe, stay tuned and I'll show you everything you need to know. By the way, there's a special reason why I'm wearing a green casual shirt today. And at the end of the video, I'm going to reveal to you what this has to do with Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe was one of the most glamorous film stars of her generation. And she had a well-earned reputation of being a fashion icon. Marilyn's style was truly unique. And she was often photographed wearing beautiful dresses and high heels. After relocating from Hollywood to New York, Marilyn discovered Ferragamo, which I don't have with me at the moment, and she quickly became a loyal customer. She shopped at the Ferragamo store on Park Avenue and she ordered shoes in multiples. According to the Ferragamo website, where I looked that up, her preferred styles were the Filetina and Viatica poems. Look it up. Based on the number of photos with Marilyn wearing white stiletto seals, there's no question it was a go-to look for Marilyn. Monroe's love for Ferragamo shoes helped to solidify the brand's reputation as a chic and sophisticated choice for footwear. Because of the nature of this frame, I show you three shoes that I have in my closet that pretty much emulate her style. You cannot go wrong with a classic Chanel pump she certainly wore Chanel, I'm pretty sure. This is a medium-sized heel, so not the highest one. Can't go wrong with that. Then a nude high heel. You can get them from Louboutin, but uh, Ferragamo still has them and they're still one of the best shoe brands, if you ask me. She wore quite high heels. She was actually, um, that, was, that was actually a signature look of hers, to have the heels a little bit higher. Ferragamo did that for her. And this is a sling pump for the summertime. This one is from Dolce & Gabbana, but some white pump pointy can't go wrong, just as a little inspiration. Marilyn Monroe's public wardrobe was full of film star black dresses. The 1999 Christie's auction showed us Marilyn wore seemingly endless variations of the sophisticated little black dress. Most often with the dresses being seamed, darted and even bonded to make the most out of her curves. Her dresses were cool and elegant. The only thing that Marilyn didn't like about the little black dress was that it showed up the dirt too easy, which is true. Marilyn once said, I don't mind dirt as long as it doesn't show. Marilyn, being a native West Coast girl, loved bright colors and easy sporty shapes when she wasn't being Marilyn Monroe, the film star. From the brilliantly colored Capri pants, tight as a second skin, with matching easy shirts Marilyn bought in multiples, to her sporty little dresses, white shirts and chino pants from spots where labeled Water Bus, her daywear was a microcosm of East and West Coast style. The most alluring woman in the world knew how to dress for her daytime activities, whether running errands or playing tennis. Marilyn's style was unique and all her own. It was comfortable, casual and always flattering. She defined how America dressed in the 50s and set the trends that are still copied today. Who doesn't love a good pair of Capri pants? I do. Marilyn and Emilio Pucci. It is not clear when Marilyn discovered the Italian house of Pucci, founded in 1947 by Emilio Pucci. The brand is best known for its brightly colored patterned fabrics, just like this dress. It's possible that Marilyn was introduced to the brand by her friend, fashion editor Diana Vreeland. However, there's no definite answer to that question, just a guess. She was often photographed wearing Pucci dresses and scarves, and she even helped to popularize the brand in the United States. Thanks to Marilyn, Pucci became synonymous with Hollywood glamour and its iconic prints are still beloved by fashion lovers today. A little bit of a sad fact is that Marilyn is rumored to have been buried in the green Pucci dress she wore while in Mexico in February 1962, as shown in this picture. If you find that my topics around self-improvement with acting skills and also everything about Hollywood intrigue you further, then you might want to stay tuned because I'm going to share with you life transforming acting techniques tailored for everyday people, just like you and me. But I have something more for you. If you go to my website, secretsofactors.com and go to my blog, I have put together a collection of 
items that you can buy right now to be as elegant as Marilyn Monroe. I don't uh, participate in any affiliate program at the moment, so it's really just a nice recommendation for you. And a lot of items in there don't break the bank, so worry not. But hurry, because I don't know for how long they will be available. But now we come to this one special blouse, this one. This Pucci blouse is noteworthy and significant to Marilyn Monroe's life for two reasons. Firstly, it was the blouse that Marilyn was wearing during the rehearsal of her now famous performance of Happy Birthday, Mr. President for President John F. Kennedy at Madison Square Garden on 19th May 1962. Kim leave this blouse alone. But secondly, Marilyn was wearing it again when the last photos of her alive were taken, the weekend of July 28th and 29th 1962 at the Cal Neva Lodge in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. It is believed to be the last piece of clothing Marilyn ever purchased. Marilyn died just days after returning from that fateful weekend at the Cal Neva Lodge. And this blouse is a tragic reminder of those final days. The blouse has since been on display at several museums. Well, whether one sees it as a reminder of Marilyn's talent or as a symbol of her untimely death, one thing is certain, she looked absolutely beautiful in this blouse. And I must say, doing my research and all of that, I kind of fell in love with the color green. In conclusion, Monroe was a style icon because she took risks and wasn't afraid to experiment. She also had an innate sense of fashion that allowed her to always look put together. If you are looking to add some Marilyn Monroe flair to your wardrobe, take some risks and be fearless in your choices. Wear green, wear orange, wear yellow, or everything mixed together. Whatever you want, as long as it suits you. And above all else, don't forget to have fun with it. As always, thank you for watching. But now, go out, be fabulous. Mwah! Boom, boom, be doo.